Hey guys, how's it going? Tim here again with Droid Life, and today we're going to be taking a peek at Samsung's Galaxy Gear smartwatch and a little bit of the Galaxy Note 3. Since in order it to have a gear um, and to make sure it you know functions and operates correctly, you're going to need a Samsung device running TouchWiz and Android 4.3 or higher. And currently, only the Note 3 has that. So. We really want to take a peek at the apps that are available for Galaxy Gear. Um, Samsung was on stage when they announced Gear and said that they uh, would be launching around 70 plus applications. They've been working hard with developers to make sure there's a good amount of apps available upon launch. There's things like Evernote, Snapchat, uh, Path, Vino, things of that nature, but then also there's different clock faces, alarm apps, uh, radio on, things of that nature. So I've downloaded a few, we're going to be taking a peek. And basically, um, to download any application onto your Galaxy Gear, you're going to need the Gear Manager application installed on your device, and that's right down here, Gear Manager. So we'll hit on uh, hit that real quick. And this is the interface that you're met with. Um, all the clock faces that you can change on Gear are uh, controlled right through here. So you have different analog types, you have digitals, and then I downloaded a few extras, like I have this LED alarm one set right now. Um, a metal holic D-Day watch, neon digital, the colors you can change, and all that fun stuff. So you can download additional clock faces through Samsung apps. And then also you can download uh, third-party apps, like I said, like uh, Evernote. And here, I'm going to show you which apps I finally installed here. My apps. So, um, let's go to installed apps. You have to hit here. Um, you can kind of tell which ones are the third party because they don't have a classy little icon. Some do if the developer actually took the time to probably design one. Evernote did not. So Evernote still has their green icon with the elephant. And then um, down here I have Radio On, Snapchat, Spin the Bottle, which I thought was funny, uh, Vivino, and then all the clock faces I did are installed under the clock faces section and you don't see those in the installed apps part. So you can set favorites for which ones you want to actually be listed in your rotating kind of uh, view of what apps you have installed. But then there's also an apps drawer, if you will, on gear, which I'll show you. So let's open up gear and I will show you what we're working with. So like I said, so here's that LED alarm that I was talking about. And um, you just swipe through all your notifications. These are your favorites, like I was saying. So, for example, there's Evernote, and it just kind of, real quick, I'll throw this off. Personal touch, um, it throws off the look when you have all these whited out icons. Oh, cancel. Uh, throws off the look when you have all these whited out icons that Samsung took their time on, and then the third party developer just kind of threw in their own little regular icon without kind of trying to white it out and make it like the UI uh, very, you know, uh, flush and they just kind of changed up. It, it's pet peeve, no big deal, but the OCD and everyone might uh, be a little upset. So here's the app drawer, like I was saying, you just swipe through until you find it. So for example, I got Radio One right there, Evernote. This is your full app drawer, so everything you have installed on the device is controlled right from here. Um, swipe down to get back to home. And like I was saying, you can control the clock face uh, right from the watch itself. You don't have to do that from the gear manager. If you just go into settings, clock and then clock type. You can access all the different faces that you've downloaded. So there's that D-Day Metalholic, there's the neon one. Say we want to select that, um, then it's selected. We just scroll all the way back and there it is. And you can tap on it to change the color and all that fun stuff. So let's take a peek at, uh, oh yeah, swipe up to down to get to the camera. Yeah, you still, it takes time to kind of learn all the gesture navigation and all that fun stuff. So. From that home clock, we can scroll through here and take out, uh, check out some of the apps. Like, say, Snapchat, you know, is a good one. Just hit on that. It shows whatever's uh, being viewed through there, and then you simply just tap on the screen, and it's done. You choose how long you want to send it to, and this is all controlled from your Snapchat application on the phone. So it sends it to the phone's app, and then it sends it from there. So you don't have to log into any uh, extra accounts on the gear or anything like that. It's all controlled from the phone over Bluetooth 4.0. So. Um, you can't take video, so far you can only do uh, you know, the pictures and then you can't uh, include text yet either or draw on it. So for now it's just a picture and you can send it to all your friends and all that fun stuff. Turn it back on here, let's see, we have Evernote app, which of course probably a few people will use. I mean it's just like the regular Evernote app, you just save content to a cloud uh, account and all your, like you can have notes, pictures, voice recordings and all that fun stuff. 
just your basic Evernote app, except, uh, again, you have to have the Evernote app installed on the Note 3 on your phone in order to use it here, because that's how it all syncs. So you can't just have a standalone Evernote app on Galaxy Gear yet. Pretty much everything you have to have, say for example, Vivino, you have to have it installed because it sends the data right from your phone and all that fun stuff. If I had a bottle of wine sitting around, I would show you how the Vivino application works. It's actually really neat. Say if you have a bottle of wine and you want to know more info on that wine, you can simply just take a picture using the built-in camera. It sends it to a server. It recognizes what label it is and then sends you info back on how much it is, where you can buy it, good stuff like that, you know, good pairings. So it's a nice little app to have if you're into uh, fancy eating. And uh, let's see here, I think I downloaded, oh yeah, Radio On I wanted to show off real quick. Oh no, and Spin the Bottle, of course, don't let me forget. So Radio On, it's like, it's a radio application, although I noticed that uh, I'm guessing the developers were possibly in Asia, or were at least um, Asian, because uh, I think it saved whatever, uh, some of the favorites, uh, stations and they all happen to be Asian. I couldn't find any American stations because what it does is it takes your favorite channel's playlist and adds it to the gear. And so from here, then you can control it. And when it buffers, then it plays through the Note 3. So it's nice. It doesn't play through the actual um, Galaxy Gear, but it's nice to have if you're trying to control um, your audio or radio on app from the device. So that's not bad. Once you get it synced to your account, of course. Spin the bottle. What a fun application. Um, basic spin the bottle idea, you have a bottle here, you spin it around and I'm guessing you have to kiss the person it lands on, so for example we can just spin it, there we go, ooh, Brittany you're in trouble, spin it again here, oh, Ashley, anyways you can change uh, some of the settings, like say you can change the background to grass, I don't know who plays spin the bottle on grass, but I guess it happens. You can change the bottle of booze that you're using. Got some classic wine here, your champagne, your red wine, your vodka. It looks like a bottle of water to me. Um, a, you know, classic bottle of beer, I'm guessing. Hopefully it's local. Um, so that's been the bottle. Um, you always wish that developers would put plenty of time into their apps and make sure that they're fun and they look fluid on the device. So there's that Vivino app I was telling you about. And of course there's timers schedules. I mean, the gear handles quite a bit. You can check your local weather. Gear does quite a bit. Uh, we're still hoping for more, well, we're always hoping for more functionality, but uh, once more apps, say, like Twitter and Facebook possibly come, then you're going to start seeing some real usage out of it, especially for Twitter. If you can just say, tweet at Droid Life, hey, how's it going, blah, 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 then you're going to be starting to see some real fun, and since, you know, Twitter's probably installed on everyone's phone already, then that functionality should already be there, but... We'll see in the future it's coming. I mean, gear is still $300 on top of the already super expensive Galaxy Note 3, so you can see our full review of that. We'll have a full review of Galaxy Gear coming up soon, and if you have any questions, just let us know. Enjoy life. Peace.